All right, hey guys, uh, my name is Given, and I am going to be a tutor for this um, tutorial. Um, yes, in this video that we have, um, we're going to be looking at the short problem that we've given. And I'm just going to read out the problem statement so that we can get into solving this. Uh, we're told to write a short program that prints um, numbers from 1 to 100 on the new line, and for each multiple of 3, we should print fizz, and each multiple of 5 we should print buzz, and the numbers that are both multiples of 3 and 5 we should print fizz buzz instead of the actual number. All right, so first thing that I'll do is I'm going to copy the problem statement, um, and then I'll create a new folder on my uh, code uh, IDE, which is in this case is code. So I'll just quickly um, create a new folder. This was. Okay. Um, next up, you're going to be required to create a Python file um, because in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to do this using Python. Um, so on my terminal, you're making use of bash, which is why I'm going to do this. And I've just created a new file that I call this main.py. Now I'm going to paste the instructions that we were given for this particular problem statement. And um, yeah, I'm going to start uh, executing this or solving this problem by completing each one of um, the requirements that we give in the problem statement. So firstly, we told that we must print numbers from 1 to 100. Um, how can we do that? Well, there's many different ways. One of the ways, one of the easiest ways being using a for loop. So in this case, I'm going to create a for loop for number n. And we're going to use, we're going to use our, this uh, function range, which is able to sort of like give us a range of numbers or a list of numbers in a certain range. So in this case, we first specify when, where does this range start? And we've been asked to print numbers from 1 to 100, so our range starts from 1. And the second parameter that we send is where the range stops. And uh, we're supposed to print numbers from 1 to 100, so normally we have to put 100. However, um, the, um, this, this, this value, this parameter is not inclusive in the list of um, numbers that you returned or that you're given, so you always have to make this one plus the actual number that you want to stop at. Um, and just to see what we're actually getting, um, I'm going to print out this particular number and I'll press save and yeah, we can then try to run this. So this is going to be Python um, main.py and as we can see numbers from 1 to 100 have been printed out so we have uh, completed the first um, part of the pro uh, problem statement secondly we've been told that we should print um, for, for all the numbers that are multiples of 3 we should print fizz instead of that number um, so yes, the next step that we need to now do is try to figure out like which number, which numbers in this list of numbers from one to one hundred is a um, multiple of three. So how do we figure out whether numbers are multiple of three or not? Um, so to do this, I'm just going to run Python on my uh, terminal just to allow me to test with those test different codes. Um, just so I can actually find out or determine how I can be able to determine the numbers of multiple of three or not. Um, so in Python, there's something called modulus, and this is just this percent sign. So this is the function that you can use um, to find out if a number is a multiple of another number. For example, um, if you want to find out whether, let's say, four is a um, multiple of two, then we would say four modulus two. Um, and we can see that they return zero. So whenever you, whenever you um, perform such a such such an operation for modulus two, um, it basically returns the remainder um, of what you get when two goes into four. So when two goes into four, it goes in um, two times without leaving a remainder, hence making four a multiple of um, 
uh, two. So uh, in our case, let's say the number is nine modulus three. This will give us zero as well because nine is a multiple of three. So in order for us to check whether the number is a multiple of three or not, we can then say if number mod three is equal to zero. So here the important thing is that um, the remainder of the modulus operation needs to equal um, zero for that particular number um, to be a multiple. So um, yes, we do this. And so if the number is a multiple of three, then we're going to print out this. And I'm just going to use comments here. So if number is multiple of three, and if not, then we use the else statement, just print the number. So I'm going to quit this uh, terminal and I'm going to run the Python program again. And now we can see that it's not only just printing the numbers, but it's also printing the numbers and fizz in places where the particular number is a multiple of three. For example, three, one, two, three, three is a multiple of three, so fizz, four, five, six, six is a multiple of three, and so forth and so forth. Next, we need to check whether this number is a multiple of five. Um, so to do that, it's pretty much the same concept. Uh, we're going to use the same if statement. And there's just one thing that's going to change, and that's the number we're checking to see whether this number is um, a multiple of. And so, yeah, if the numbers are multiple of five, then we're going to print out buzz. And of course, don't forget your comments. If number is multiple of five. Um, so let's give this, a, and it should be else. Or just alf yeah so if the number is multiple of three we print out fizz else if the number is multiple of five then we print out buzz otherwise you just print out the number itself uh, because it must probably be neither um so run the program and now we see that okay we now have fizz and buzz uh being printed out so so far we've completed three um out of four of the you know problems um tasks in this particular problem statement and now we're going to complete the final one and this here we're told that if this particular number is both a multiple of three and five then you should print out this buzz now um yeah once again this is also quite a simple implementation um all you have to do simply use an other statement again so and i'm just going to copy uh the two conditions above so if this is true and if this is true then print out this buzz now um this is it, the, this is basically what our solution should be, or this is what our solution, our solution to this particular problem is. Um, do you guys think that this is actually correct, though? And the answer to this is no. This implementation um, for checking whether both whether the numbers both multiple of three and five, um, this implementation is wrong, and um, we'll see why once I run this program. So. Um, let's see. Is there any way in this program when we see this buzz printed out anyway? Absolutely not. Um, however, if you think of a number that's both a multiple of three and five, um, which you know they should have printed this buzz for in this list of numbers. One of those numbers is fifteen. Uh, three and five are both multiples of. Well, fifteen is both a multiple of three and five. Um, so why is it that? Um, Fizz was printed instead of fizz buzz um, in place of the number 15. And the answer to this was quite simple. So the condition where we're checking that this number is both a multiple of three and five, we've printed the wrong place. Um, because let's say let's say the current number in this, let's say the current number um, in this range is 15. So the first if statement is um, 
you know, where the first step taken that we're checking is 15 a multiple of 3. It is 15 is a multiple of 3. So this will be printed and we won't even really get to we, we, we won't get to this this if statement to check whether it was a multiple of both three and five. And so the right way to implement this would be by first checking whether it's a multiple of both um, three and five before checking whether it's a multiple of um, three alone or just a multiple of five alone. Um, and so yeah, just by changing the position of the if statement um, and just adding the comment, if number is both multiple of three and five. Um, so yeah, just by changing the position of the if statement um, and by checking, you know, for this condition first, um, we will now see that it will, you know, behave correctly and print out this buzz at the relevant values. And so running this again, now we actually have both first buzz, first buzz representing 15, it should be representing 30 as well, um, and so forth and so forth. And so now we've actually um, completed uh, or solved this particular problem that we were given. So yes, this is how you go about um, implementing this or uh, solving this, this uh, problem statement. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more.